G'day folks and welcome back and a big warm welcome to my new subscribers and my old subscribers. I'm KC and today we have Hot Car Tracks product on the bench as you can see it's the open garage. Now if you've seen back in episode 140 we put these together and showed you them with quite a few other products. What we're going to do today, I actually ordered another one off him and I showed it to you in that video there and some photos there. It's actually blue and yellow and I'm going to convert that into a golden fleece garage. An iconic Australian petrol station oil company that started out in the 1890 something. I'll find that out as we go along through the video. It's not so much about that. It's just that it's Australia Day coming up or it's already Australia Day when you're watching this, we're going to turn this building into, not this one here, it's exactly the same as that, except for it's yellow and blue. I'm going to start, I'm going to repaint the yellow because it's just a bit lemony. So I'm going to tone down the lemon yellow with a new yellow, and I'll show you that shortly. And we're also going to paint part of the walls white because the colors for their buildings back in the day were red, um, yellow, blue, with a red pinstripe around the top, and white walls on their buildings, and most of their garages. All right, let's keep cracking along, and let's show you what we've got done and set up, ready to go, and start getting it painted. Right, uh, as you can see, I've got these all set up, ready to get painted. Now, I've masked the top part up that I want to stay blue on both panels. And what I do here is when I the, when you're painting all of these flat buildings to hold them still and all that sort of stuff there, I've just got some double-sided tape here from the craft shop that you stick onto the board, that way you can stick the building onto it. Now I've taped up the little tabs, if you've noticed, down the side, because these are a really tight, snug fit. If you keep painting them, painting them, painting them, they're going to be really hard to clip back together. And that's not because of the product, it's because of all of the paint build-up. So we've got these ones done here. Just another suggestion, if you're actually going to paint buildings, I would recommend that you get a white one or a grey one. So that way all of your internal walls are already white or grey. Never mind, it's all good, it's still going to be alright. Now here's the yellow parts here, that's the side and then that's the full front panel there. They are all have been double sided taped down. I've done the same with the tabs, put just a little bit of clear tape over the end of the tabs. Them ones there, you don't see any of the holes. And then also on the side of this here, I've taped up the holes so the paint won't go into the holes. And then here is the roof, all ready to go as well. Alrighty, let's keep moving along and I'll show you the colours and whatever else we've got ready. Okay, now as you can see, plastic primer. I put plastic primer on anything I paint and I use all automotive paint. So what we'll do is on the blue, besides the plastic primer and all the plastic, the, light, the blue will put a, a, a light thin coat of grey because it'll be really hard to colour blue with the yellow. There's the white for the walls, which is going to be the walls over the white over the blue, sorry, not the yellow. And then there's the yellow over the yellow. Then we'll do the mercury silver on the roof to replicate the tin roof iron. And then once we also go over here, there's some of the decals. There are other decals for other jobs as well, but there's some of the decals there for the top. Just some other decals and all of that sort of stuff there that I've been making up there. And more other decals there. There, That's a bigger golden fleece to go on the front panel that I've made up there. There are other ones. We'll see how we go because I want to make it look pretty um, cool sort of thing. And then there, uh, just some more, some other decals for other current jobs that I've got happening and going on sort of thing. There's really tiny some of these. As you can see, they're very small. And some... Yanko stripes and then they... Alright, let's get back to the build. Right, uh, so what we do here now is we, um, we'll get the plastic primer onto these here and we'll get the lemon yellow into yellow and then we'll get those panels on the blue walls there into white. Here we go. We've got a silver roof. That's pretty easy to do. Pretty easy for the yellow to go over the yellow, but that's more of a golden fleece yellow now. And we've got the white walls, we'll take that masking tape off and then the top bits will be blue. Alright, we'll just keep carrying along. Right, as you can see, it's all painted up. You know, uh, and I, uh, I did the windows as well because 
so they were just too laminate. And there, there you go, you'll see you've got the, there with all the masking and tape off. Um, it's all good. Now on the inside is still all blue. So what I'm going to do is if you see that there, look at that. That is like a sheet. It looks like metal with rivets everywhere. I got one roll and actually went back to the shop where I got it from to get another roll and they had none left. Okay. That's going to go on top of the sign up onto here. Up on there on both sides. Both different sides and then there's the decals there. There to go with those other decals. Alright. So let's go and line the inside of these walls here with that metal pad. I know, we've set up where the decals are going to go. Just remember all of the white in the background of them decals you will not see because it's... Uh, that'll come off right there and then we've done the walls on the inside like we said and they're set up so when they both sit beside each other panels will match up on the inside of the building see the lines all match up with these panels here there and there all right we'll keep moving along let's get them all on Okay, there we go. We've got all the decals on. There, there. That one there's a touch crooked, but it dried that well there. I couldn't pull it off and I didn't want to damage the paint. You can't really notice it that much. Most of the garages I've seen in my day, some of them have got some pretty crooked signs, but anyway, there we are. Alright, we'll get organised and we'll get him into clear and then we'll start getting him together. Right the other, we've got the first coat to clear on the signs there and I just cleared that blue up the top there just to seal the white edge. Right oh, we'll keep cracking along, it's getting there. Okay, here's all the bits for the shed. It's all been cleared up. Roof's there, all the panels have been done. It's come up pretty good, I'm happy with that. Bad light in here, sorry guys. And uh, we've uh, glued the windows in with a touch of glue. They're the inside walls already all done there so that way when it's all together you do all of that before you put it all together it's an absolute nightmare otherwise coming up after this will be um, a picture of it um, of what it was before we started and then then we'll have it all together okay this is a recap of what we started with the uh, open garage from hct in yellow and blue and as you've seen through the video we converted it to um, a golden fleece iconic australian garage so coming right up after this is what it looks like now that we've finished messing with it. There we go folks, she's all done. The Golden Fleece service station. Good old Aussie icon garage. A bit like the Holdens, doesn't exist anymore. All right, what we'll do is we'll just, um, I didn't, I wanted to put a few more signs on it, but you will see this later on, of course, down the track, and you will see it tomorrow in my Australia Day build. So um, I'll just give you a, I'll just, Throw me out of the road so I don't get pushed off the cliff, off the bench. And then there's a side side view of it just there. And that's the colours there, the blue and the white and the yellow and all up there for the golden place. And then um, I'll show you down this way with it all set up like that. Turned out pretty cool, I think. And then um, we'll just go right around so you can see right around the back of it. Just going to add a couple of more things into it there and um, make it even more realistic at the end of the day. So yeah, turned out pretty sweet I reckon. Alrighty, so what we'll do is we'll, we'll set him up and then we'll come back. There we go. It's all set up. All set up for the 164. Now you can use this garage for 164 and also 143. You'll see that tomorrow in the Australia Day video where this garage is set up with a 143 scale set up and our builds that we did for that of the Australia Day. Don't forget to go and check those out tomorrow for us and everyone else that's joined in. So yeah, this is the open garage from Hot Car Track and so is those toolboxes and benches in the background and that four poster hoist. Now this is the one that you just seen prior to this there was just the plain blue and the yellow and this is what you can do to them. You can just customize them to suit anything you want however you want life for yourself. So yeah, you can see down different sides of the garage in there, put the signs up the walls. I recommend that if you're gonna do a garage yourself then if you want white walls on the inside, buy a white one and that way you can paint the outside whatever color you like. Or a gray one and if you want the walls gray inside like they're concrete, that sort of thing. But yeah, there you go folks. 
let me know what you think. Let us know in the comments. I um, hope you enjoyed the uh, customization and the little build of the Golden Fleece Garage. An iconic Australian brand, a bit like Holden, doesn't exist anymore. Alright guys, I appreciate you watching. Thanks for watching. Take care. Look after yourselves. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And we'll catch you again on the next one. Bye for now.